excited to see how the Ultramarines go up against the Dark Angels, cons Oops. considering, you know, you haven't even seen the army, you don't know what it can do. I don't know what the Dark Angels can do. No, no, probably not. It's going to try not to look into the warp and see what Chaos are up to. Yeah. Well, they try not to affair to deal with others' business. Yeah, too busy being heretics and talking to Chaos Demons and, you know, doing the kind of thing that Dark Angels do. Where were you during the Horus Heresy, bro? Where were you? Fighting our heretic versions of ourselves. Fighting yourselves. Yeah, just saying. Alright, what army have you brought today? Let's see what you got. Alright, I brought a Leviathan Dreadnought, a squad of three Inceptors with Plasma Incinerators, a squad of five Heavy Intercessors, a Interrogator Chaplain with a Jump Pack, a squad of Attack Bikes, multi melters, and my Ravenwing Apothecary. Cool. Now what I like about this matchup is we're basically playing a mirror match. Uh, because I have brought a squad of attack bikes with multi melters and an apothecary. I too have uh, heavy intercessors with a heavy bolter. Um, where our armies differ is my apothecary is not on a bike because I'm playing ultramarines, so my apothecary is going to be running around on foot. Um, I also brought an Invictor Warsuit, which is, I suppose, my version of the Leviathan. It didn't cost me a command point to field it, and it's already set up on, a, on an objective, so I've got that hopefully advantage. Um, and then I've brought a squad of Devastators with multi melter inside a drop pod, and inside the drop pod is a chaplain and a librarian. Also, since we just had the update um, to Space Marines, we all, both of us, have the Armor of Contempt. So our, uh, all of our Space Marines, all of our army, are going to ignore one armor penetration on anything that attacks us. So that's pretty cool, but this is kind of like a, a green versus blue mirror match. Yeah, pretty much. So, yeah, and that's because I designed the army and then you copied it. No, no. Yeah, you just you just bought the same thing as me? No. No? Exactly, because you copied it. Yeah. Are you ready to roll for first turn? Yep. In tonight's battle report, our players will be using the primary mission, Take and Hold. At the end of each player's command phase, except for the first turn, the player whose turn it is will score five victory points if they control one or more objective markers, an additional five victory points if they control two or more objective markers. And finally, they will gain an additional five victory points if they control more objective markers than their opponent controls for a maximum of 15 victory points per turn. And for this battle, the players will be using the Dawn of War deployment. All right, let's see what you got. All right, I got a, a one, perfect. So I really wanted the first turn today. I need to roll anything but a one. A three! Huzzah! I will take that, and I'm going to take the first turn. So, um, at the beginning of my turn, I'm going to gain one command point, which puts me up to uh, seven command points. So, with this, we move into the movement phase. So, my attack bikes have a 14-inch movement. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try and get them round onto this objective. Rawr. There they go. Did you know that whenever I move things in Warhammer, I say rawr? I got told this the other day, and then now I've seen it, I can't like not see it, it's pretty funny. Um, and I'm going to advance my apothecary. Four inches, gives him ten. See, he doesn't need a bike. <laughs> he just practices sprinting on a regular basis, that's what he does instead. All right, um, and then I've got my Invicta War Suit. Now this is an interesting one, um, because I secretly was going to take that objective, but now juicier objective over here I'm going to go and have a look at. Um, sweet! And then at the end of my movement phase, of course, my drop pod is going to arrive. Now, this is a tough one. This is too tasty not to take. Alright, so I've just finished my movement phase, now I'm going to move into my shooting phase. And how I handle this is going to be very, very specific, because I've got to pick the targets I think are going to cause the most damage and reduce them down piece by piece by piece. Um, because I'm playing Space Marines, I'm going to announce we're in the Devastator Doctrine. So in the Devastator Doctrine, heavy weapons 
are going to get an additional armor penetration. That really matters against you because you're going to reduce armor penetration by one. So selecting targets is going to be really very important. I need to be taking things down uh, right at the very beginning. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by firing everything that this guy has against the, uh, the interceptors in front of him. Ooh. So yeah, hopefully it's going to be amazing. Um, we're going to start with, uh, I'm just going to unload everything into them. We're going to start with the Incendium Cannon. Now this has 2d6 shots and they automatically hit because they're flamers. It is a heavy weapon, so that's going to be important. Uh, seven shots. Not amazing, but I'll take it. I'm strength five, your toughness five, so I'm wounding on fours. Great. I've got four hits there. So you have four saves to make at minus two armor penetration because you're in the Devastator Doctrine, but that's going to be minus one because... Cool. So that's going to be four saves at four up. However, I am in cover, so I would add one to my save, making it a basic three up again. Okay. And they're all safe. Excellent. I will move on to the heavy bolter. So I've now got three extra shots. These hit on threes. All hit. Strength five, toughness five. You're on fours. Two wounds. Two saves at minus two again. All right. Two saves at again. Three up. Both safe. Nice. Next is the twin iron tail heavy stubber. That's going to be eight shots hitting on threes. I got six hits here. And it's a strength four against toughness five, wound fives. And that's absolutely tiddly swap. <laughs> Last year's the frag storm grenade launcher. This is D6 shots, which is three. Uh, they're going to be hitting on threes. One hit, strength four, it wounds on a five. Nothing. Okay, well, not the most amazing round of shooting there. Let's continue on and we'll start looking at some other shots. So these guys are going to shoot through. They've got a, sh a weird shot, but they do have a shot between this building, between this guy's legs, and I've got a straight line of shot. So I've got five heavy intercessors firing. One of them has a heavy bolter. So we'll fire with the regular heavy intercessors first. Um, because they didn't move, and they're firing with rapid fire weapons, they're going to fire twice. So that's eight shots with the, uh, the rapid fire rifles. Hit on three. Three hits. It's a strength five against toughness five. We're on fours. And that's two. So two saves at minus one. I ignore armor penetration minus one, and I add one to my save, so that's two ups. Great job. Both safe. Excellent. So we'll move on with a heavy bolter. Three shots, hitting on threes. One hit. We're on a four. No wounds. This is not looking good so far, but that's okay. So these are the big shots going into the Leviathan. So I'm going to change targets and we'll start shooting the Leviathan. I'm also going to spend some, uh, some command points right now. So I'm going to start by spending two command points for Commanding Oratory. Um, so that puts me down to five command points. And Commanding Oratory allows me to pick my chaplain and pick one squad and automatically pass something. So I'm going to activate the Recitation of Focus, giving my Devastators plus one to hit. I'm going to spend another one command point to activate the Sons of Gilliman, um, which lets them reroll ones to hit. So um, they get minus one because they moved, because they just got out of the vehicle, but they get plus one for the recitation of focus. They're hitting on threes, and now they're rerolling ones. So uh, there are four Devastators in the squad, and the Sergeant um, is capable of allowing one of them to get a uh, plus one to hit. They basically give them a ballistic skill of two or plus. So one of them is going to shoot on twos instead of threes. Um, so uh, let's start with the first four shots. These are going into the Leviathan. Okay. So hit on threes, rolling ones. So that's four hits so far. And then hit on twos, rolling ones. That's an extra two hits. So we have six hits. I'm a strength of eight. Your Leviathan is a toughness of seven. So I'm wounding on threes. I've only failed one. I'm going to spend an extra command point to reroll up into a hit. So you have six saves at minus five because it's a heavy weapon. Okay, so that's going to be six saves minus five. I normally wouldn't be able to save that, 
but he has a 5 up in vulnerable save from force shielding, so it's just 5 ups. Good luck. Uh, ooh, that's one safe. Okay, so, so that's five go through. Yep. With multi melters at half range. I'm gonna command point reroll one of those. Into another fail. Great. That was fantastic. Cool. So five went through. Uh, yep. So the Leviathan is gonna take five d six damage ooh. plus two for each one of these. Ooh. So it's gonna be five d six plus ten. Oh jeez. So that's 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 30 damage. Now, I believe you reduce the damage by one for each of these. Yep. So you take 25 minutes. It's dead. Does it explode? It does not. Cool. It is gone. Excellent. This is the point where I realized I forgot my psychic phase. So oh. you're welcome. Um, <laughs> we'll continue on with the shooting phase. Um, and I'm going to uh, fire this squad into the Inceptors. So these are at a longer range. Um, they've got bolt guns and they've got multi-melters. I'm going to fire everything into the Inceptors. So we'll start with uh, the multi-melters first. So that's going to be six shots. Um, these guys are hitting on threes. That's four hits. And strength eight against top five and wounding on threes. <laughs> so two saves at minus five. Okay, so their normal save is a three up. Minus five becomes an eight up, but they reduce AP by one, and they add one to their save because they're in cover. So that's six ups. Both failed. Cool. So the first one takes two wounds. <laughs> that's so annoying. And the second one... It's four additional wounds, so one guy dies. Excellent. Um, now we've got some rapid fire weapons. So each bike has two bolt guns with rapid fire. Normally two shots, but rapid fire doubles their shots. On a bike, it's at maximum range. So um, that is 12 shots with the rapid fire bolt guns. And moving on fives. Four. You have four saves to make at no armor penetration. Cool, so that's four saves at a nice two up. Uh, one failed. One more? Cool. One guy has gone down to two wounds remaining. And at this point, that's pretty much all the shooting I've got. So I'm going to declare charges and I'm gonna have my war suit charge into the Inceptors. Cool. You gonna do any overwatch? Uh, I will spend a command point to do some overwatch. Uh, so it's two D3 shots per guy. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven shots in total. Uh, these are hitting on sixes. I am not going to use, I am not going to supercharge. Okay, okay that's one hit. Uh, with a strength of seven, what is your toughness? The toughness of war suit is six. Cool, so I'm wounding on a three. That's a five, that's a wound. So one save at minus three AP. Okay, um, I have a three up, so I need a six. Six! Oh. Excellent. Don't like that. I love it. Uh, now I'm gonna charge, I'm gonna roll two dice to charge. Um, I made six inches, which is good enough. And... Um, because I charged, I fight first. Um, an Evictor War Suit has four attacks and gets one extra attack on the charge from Angels of Death. So I have uh, five attacks, and I'm going to be hitting you on threes. Um, I've got a fail. I'm going to spend a command point, because that's two command points to reroll that one. Into a fail. <laughs> so I've got four hits. Um, I have a strength of the fist, which I believe is strength 14. So I'm going to be wounded on twos. Yep. That's everything. So you have four saves at uh, you have four saves at minus three. Cool. So that's going to be four saves at a five up. That is two sixes. So that's two fails. Three damage each. <sighs> Both guys are dead. Excellent. And 
take my three inch consolidation. So we sit on the objective, but I'm not a troop so I can't claim it. And uh, that will be the end of my first turn. So at the end of my first turn, I, uh, I'm pretty proud of it. It's your turn. Cool. That, that sucked for me. Uh, in the command phase, I gained one command point, putting me up to three. I'm gonna use my litanies uh, because of my chaplain. So I'm gonna start off with a plus one to hit on the bikes. And that goes off. And then they're plus one to wound. Also goes off. Cool. Because he succeeds on a two because you upgraded him, right? Yes. Perfect. Cool. So now we're on to the movement phase. So I'm just going to move the bikes as far away from that thing as possible. They do not like big stuff that can punch hard. <laughs> this guy, the interrogator chaplain, is going to jump over this way with his jump pack. Right there. Now, the heavy intercessors, um, they do not like combat, so they are going to leave combat and just kind of pile away from this thing. Uh, cool, that's the end of my movement phase. So now we are moving into the shooting phase. At the start of the shooting phase, I'm going to spend two command points to use interactable so the heavy intercessors can still shoot this turn because they don't like the devastators. Um, so I'm going to start off with the intercessors and it is the same guns you had uh, and they're probably in half range, 15 inches, let's see, yeah they're all in half range. Except these guys do not have a heavy bolter. And they are hitting on threes. So that is four missed. Four shots missed. Um, the six hits. Yep, six hits. The strength of their gun is a five. And your toughness, I would assume, is five. On the Devastators? Uh, yeah. It's four. Cool, so wounding on th uh, threes. Uh, so that is two more fails, leading to four saves at minus one AP. So because we're Space Marines, we're gonna ignore the first minus one, making it minus zero, and because we're in cover, we get plus one to our save. So these Devastators have a two up save. Ugh, that's nasty. Um, I have a single one, I'm gonna spend a command point to reroll it. Succeeded. Okay, <laughs> that I did not like that. Uh, now these guys, they are all in half range and they don't like what this thing's doing to their friends. <laughs> so they are going to shoot the living hell out of it. Uh, with two shots per guy, they each have a multi so that's gonna be six shots hitting on twos because they get plus one to hit from the, mm -hmm. from the litany dude. So that is all hit. Of six. Okay, so I am wounding on threes. So that is gonna be two missed. So you have four saves to make at minus four AP. Minus five is the first turn of the game. Minus five. <clears throat> so minus five is impossible, but it goes back to minus four, which is also impossible. So there's no save whatsoever. Cool. Alright, uh, so that is gonna be D6 plus two damage per hit. So this is. Four, uh, nine, ten, twelve, uh, sixteen. He's dead. Yeah. And roll dice if he blows up. He does not. He just leaves gracefully. <laughs> All right, that thing's gone. Uh, that was a great turn, and I don't believe I have anything else I can shoot. Very uneventful turn for me. Uh, at least I ended it holding two objectives, or, yeah, at least, at least I can end my first turn knowing I have two objectives. <laughs> Good job. All right, uh, so that's the end of my first turn. Now we're moving to your second turn. Cool, so at the start of my second turn, I'm in my command phase, I'm gonna gain a command point. 
Um, I'm also going to attempt to use my Chaplain uh, on a 3-up to inspire my Devastators to hit on 2s. And I succeeded! They will do that. Um, so that is covered that, and we'll move into my movement phase. So in my movement phase... Oh, I also gained 10 victory points at the start oh. of the turn. Five for holding this objective, five for holding that one. Oh, and I have the same number as you, so cool. I'll get the extra one. So I have 10 victory points and two command points. All right. Now I'm going to move into my movement phase. Devastators. Oh no. I do not like that. Got their cover, but that's okay. Attack bikes. And um, my apothecary, his name is Sprinter McSprinterson. He runs an extra four inches. <laughs> Arr! <laughs> the fastest apothecary you've ever seen. Like, uh, thinking about joining to be an apothecary. How fast do you run, son? What? <laughs> it's cool. Um, that's the end of my movement phase. Let's move into the psychic phase, uh, because this is supposed to be done. Excellent. All right, so uh, I'm going to start by casting Psychic Fortress. Uh, I'm going to cast Psychic Fortress on the Devastators to try and give them a 5-up and vulnerable save. It succeeds on a six. It fails. Uh, now I'm going to cast Smite on the attack bikes. That succeeds on a seven. D3 mortal wounds, three. Okay. So the unit takes three mortal wounds, putting one guy down to one wound left. Excellent. Next, I'm going to fire my heavy incessors into the attack bikes. Um, I'm going to start with the rapid fire weapons. That's eight shots. Um, these guys are hitting on threes. Rapid fire. That's a terrible round of shooting. It's three hits, strength five, toughness five, one on fours. That's one. One save. Um, and because we are now in the next doctrine, the rapid tactical doctrine, that's what it is, uh, these guys get minus two. You can ignore the first minus. So, our okay. concentration minus one. One save. One save. Thanks. Cool. So that's one save I gotta make. Uh, it would be minus two, but we're space marine, so it's minus one. So one save at a four up. And that's a one. I do not yes, like that's that. that's exactly what I wanted. What's the damage? One. Cool. Um, they are next to the Ravenwing Apothecary, so they get a six up feel no pain. Which does not go off. So Permanent dice jail. So one guy dies? Yep. Next, my heavy bolter, I'm going to pay a command point to use Hellfire Shells. So uh, this guy's going to fire. If he hits, it does D3 mortal wounds. Ooh. And it does. Whoa, D3 God. mortal wounds. Three. Oh, Jesus. I do not like that. So that's another guy down to one wound left. And then we will move on to the Devastators. Um, once again. Uh, they will get plus one to hit, they move, give them minus one to hit, so they are going to be hitting on threes. One guy's going to hit on twos though, because the sergeant's going to give him a ballistic skill of two or higher. So these are the guys hitting on threes. Uh, that's four hits so far, and the other guy hits on twos. And that's one hit. Hmm. Okay, so that's... So it's five hits in total. Strength eight, tough five, win on threes. That is three. Three saves at minus four on the attack bikes. Ooh, okay, so that's going to be three saves I have to make on the attack bikes. Would be minus four, but Space Marine, so it's minus three. So three six-ups. Don't die. Oh, that's one save. Perfect. Okay, what is the damage on D6 that? D6 plus two at this range. Ooh, so I don't like that. That's seven, uh, seven damage on the first guy, who has one life left. I'll make the roll just in case. Seven sixes. This is the moment. Come on, seven sixes. Are Never before dies. in the history of mankind. I've rolled, I've rolled similar to this. Come on, I can do it. And he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. Cool. Next one. <laughs> Eight 
damage. Ugh. Okay. Um. Can I do it again? And, and yep, yep, he's dead. Nice. Very dead. Squad wipe. And an objective lost, sadly. Um, this last squad, we're gonna fire everything into the heavy intercessors. Um, we have the multi melters first, hitting on threes. That's five hits. Strength eight, tough five, wing on threes. That's five. Five saves at minus four. Ooh, I do not like that a lot. Okay, so that's gonna be five saves on the heavy intercessors. Five up. At five up. Space Mutant cover is insane right now. <laughs> I know. Uh, cool. How much damage? Wait, how many went through? Four went through, so. Four went through. So it's gonna be D6 plus two for each one. Oh, Jesus. I forgot these are multiple. Uh, so that's a minimum of three damage. Yep, this. <laughs> so that's four dead. Near squad wipe. Um, and then we'll move into the rapid fire guns. Dang it. So that's 12 shots. Hitting on threes. Wing on fives. Three. So three saves. This time I'll penetration minus one because you're in the tactical phase. You're going to ignore that though. <laughs> yeah. All right. So that's going to be three saves at a nice two up. two up. And that's all safe. Whew. I was hoping you'd forget that gun. <laughs> um, and that is the end of my shooting phase, um, which does bring me into um, close combat. All right, uh, I'm gonna give up. This is a lost cause to be fighting for now. Can't believe I lost to the off-brand blue Dark Angels. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we wrote the Codex of Stasis. Good game. Good game. So I definitely think I could have placed my Dreadnought a bit better, it was completely out in the open for your Devastators, and I should have seen that coming. Uh, forgetting the Devastators drop on fir uh, the drop pod comes down first one was definitely another mistake. Uh, the bikes should have been a lot closer to the action, because they just seemed to like go around, they just went around, shot down one thing, and then had nothing to do with their bolters. So they didn't do as much as I was hoping, but they... They held their own and they still lost because Devastators are stupid. Uh, first of all, I want to say thank you so much to Caleb Weisenbeck who painted my army. Uh, he's an incredible commission painter. Um, it was worth every single penny I paid for it and I highly recommend anybody to go to Caleb um, and consider hiring him because his work is just absolutely stunning. Um, yeah, the army played exactly the way I wanted it to. Um, I, I've had the theory of this army for a while which is just a, a mass multi-melter army that relies on bolt guns to get the rapid fire off the back of the bikes. Um, the army plays incredibly well. It is very aggressive if you get the first turn. And what I really love about it is if you don't get the first turn, because a lot of the meat is in the drop pod, um, I've got like 400 points in that drop pod, um, including the drop pod itself, uh, it's very hard for your opponent to take it out because it's gonna turn up whenever it turns up. So as long as you set up quite defensively, if you notice at the beginning of the game, my attack bikes were completely hidden behind a wall, um, really the only target is a squad of um, heavy intercessors and the war suit. If they kill that, it's fine. I've still got a lot of multi multi firepower. If I get first turn, however, they get a war suit in the face um, and a bunch of multi melters, and it's just a, a very hard thing to contend with. So um, I love playing against Oliver. It's always great. You know, I, I love watching my son grow and improve, um, and hopefully, because uh, these armies are kind of like a mirror match, um, he might learn some tweaks he wants to make to his army to uh, to build it up. So thanks ever so much, and thank you for watching once again one of our battle reports. Next time on Knights at the Game Table, Custodes versus Death Guard.